Hey everyone, long time, no video, but I am back. I wanted to share with you all my in-depth skincare routine. And these are products that I use, that I love, and I have repurchased a few of these items over and over again. So to start off, my skin type is normal to dry. Um, I feel like drier uh, during the winter months, but other than that, I have normal skin. I do have acne prone skin. I, I mean, I, my acne isn't super terrible, but within the last two years, it was really, really bad. I got, I had really bad inflammation here. Even though it didn't seem like it, it was because I kept fighting it off with most of the products that I've been using now. And then, um, yeah. What else do I have to tell you about my skin? Mm. So I want to share with you guys my skincare routine because I know a lot of you enjoy skincare and love to know more about it as well as how to prevent acne. I know it seems like I don't have any acne, but I do. I do have acne scarring as well because I can't touch. I can't stop touching my face, but I will tell you a trick that will help you stop touching your acne that I have been using that has prevented me from acne scarring. Also. Um, a lot of you will, I know, will be asking, do I do the skincare routine every day? Yes, I do. I do them every day and every morning. And do I get lazy to do this? Yes, I do. There are just some days that I am terribly lazy and tired that I don't want to do my skincare routine. And yes, those nights do happen, but they don't happen often. Um, and even if I sidetrack from my skincare, I know that my skin isn't going to be super crazy. My skin is sensitive to the fact of germs and bacteria. That's how sensitive my skin is. But my skin isn't sensitive to the point if I stop using a product, my face is just going to explode. So now that I've kind of run through most of the questions I know that I'm going to get, let's get into the routine. To set up this routine, I am going to be talking about my morning and my night skin routine. I'm going to combine both of those together. This is why it's going to be an in-depth skincare routine for you guys to see and understand what I do. To start off, I use a cleansing oil balm or a cleanser balm. Um, this is the Benilico Clean It Zero. I think this is the original one. Um, so this is for all skin types, I believe. They do have some for sensitive and oily skin. I know cleansing balm and cleansing oil seems kind of crazy, but this is the first step I always do. I even wrote a blog post about it and I'll put in the link down below. But Cleansing oil is to trick your oil into thinking that it's already produced oil. So if you have oily skin, I think this is great because then you won't overproduce oil to cause acne. And this will not break you out if anything. I love this because it melts all my makeup down nicely and smoothly. I wear waterproof mascara and waterproof mascara is really hard to take off but um, cleansing balm and cleansing oils does the job really well. I use the Neutrogena cleansing foam for a long time now and I've stopped using it because it just hurts my eyes and my eyelashes but with the cleansing balm and oil it just melts the mascara off your eyes um, making it less of a um, torment to your eyelashes. So. This is why I switched over to a cleansing balm as a first step um, and I also believe that this makes removes your makeup off way better than any other cleansing, uh, any makeup remover I've ever used. And if you don't wear makeup, I would still recommend to use a cleansing balm because it will take a lot of impurities and dirts from your face from outside pollution, indoor with a lot of people. Um, so yeah, that is still a great way to use it. Uh, as I said, if you have oily skin, this is a great way to um, help reduce oil. And if you have a lot more questions about it, I will put a link down to Circle Glam where they explain cleansing balm way better than I do. I am in no way a dermatologist or anything like that. I just love skincare. So the first step is to use the oil cleanser and then the second step is to use a um, water-based cleansers. The water-based cleanser that I've been using is the Neogen Green Tea Cleansing Stick. This is super great for people who are always on the go, in a rush, or really don't have time. It's easy to use. You just rub this all over your face, 
wash it off it foams up a lot so i wouldn't recommend using a lot a little goes a long way i would say go really minimal with it so at night i use this one and then in the morning i use the um no bs cleansing foam this is a organic and animal cruelty free brand and all the ingredients in this cleanser is natural so that is why i love referring to this in the morning because it's gentle and it's very easy to use you just pump it in your hands and it's very sanitary um this makes my face feel really really clean so that's another thing why i love using it this is um what i am currently using not what i have previously previously used um what i've previously used was the neogen green tea cleansing foam which i will insert a photo here for you um this is the reason why my acne has gone down a lot because as i said natural ingredient is the best for my skin i'm i know a lot of people react differently to different products but this green tea cleanser is literally the reason why i don't have any acne it's something about the green tea that really rejuvenates and um, cleanses my skin really well so i'm just trying to finish the two cleansers that i have showed you guys um as i said this is what i use in the morning and then this is what i use at night yeah i just like alternating my skin routine in the morning and at night i just think it keeps my skin um going and not addicted to a certain product that's why and then the next step that i do is exfoliate this is the neogen gauze peeling and the flavor lemon wow i'm saving a lot so this is a mild exfoliator it's not super harsh or anything like that on your skin i do have one that the peeling gel where you rub in your skin and you will literally see the dead skin cell come off your face it's not like it falls off it's just like rubbery i will insert a clip here for you guys to see what it's like but yeah i love to use this um there's a rough side and then a soft side you use the rough side to swipe all over your face very gently and then the soft side you would just use it to wipe down all of the dead skin cell and then you rinse your face so I like to exfoliate two to three times a week, um, sometimes more depending on my acne. And exfoliating is a great, great way to get rid of acne scarring because you keep lightening the skin, you keep making sure that you're rubbing off the skin patches that has been um, that is stained, and you just keep taking off layers and layers of it. So that's how you get a brighter. Um, skin and softer skin as well exfoliating does a lot it really really helps for all sorts of things as i said if you want smooth skin if you want um to lighten your acne scar and to get rid of them or if you feel like you just need a brighter complexion exfoliation is the way to go i usually do this in the morning or at night after exfoliation, then I tone. The best toner that I love to use is the Beauty Water by Sun and Park. Um, this does have a little bit of alcohol in it. It is not a water or, or alcohol-free um, toner. With that being said, it doesn't dry up my skin. If anything, it hydrates my skin a lot more. And it doesn't like make my skin feel tightened after using it. I know a lot of toners do that. And that is why I skipped toner for a long time in my skincare routine. But now that I found something that's great for my dry skin, that is great for all skin types in my opinion. My sister has oily skin and she uses it all the time. I have normal to dry skin and I use it and it does wonders for both of us so the beauty water is something that I truly love and recommend after I tone I know that this is something that not a lot of people do but I like to use a face mask the reason why I started doing that is because I was reading on a sheet mask on how to use a sheet mask and this is to use it after you tone so then I decided to go within those steps so if you have always used a face mask before you tone then I recommend doing mask after you tone instead with that being said um i use all sorts of masks if you watch my insta story or follow me on my instagram you will always see that i have a lot of masks that i use because 
face mask, I'm quite obsessed about it. One brand that I love is Fresh, and I use the Umbrian Clay Parifying Mask. This mask is great. I th it's it reminds me of like a charcoal mask. Um, so what this mud mask does is it really grabs onto your skin. It really shows your lines when it's drying and i love this mask because you only use it for three to five minutes i know most mud masks is like 10 to 15 minutes and for me i just feel like if it's effective it doesn't need to take that long so this one has been doing the job for me especially spot treating this is a great mask for spot treating um sometimes i use it all over my face but it stiffens so bad that i just use it as a spot treatment um, it can also be used as a deep cleanser. So this is a two-in-one, uh, which is great. You get your bang for your buck. Um, the other masks that I love from Fresh are the Rose and Black Tea Masks. These masks are so great for hydrating, toning, plumping, and smoothing your skin. So the reason why I like the Rose Mask is because it really hydrates and tones my skin. It makes my skin very moisturized and um, looks plump. The Black Tea Instant Perfecting Mask, I like this one because it gives your face that baby smooth skin. Though this feels like mashed potato and it feels really weird, like it doesn't dry out, it just stays very soft and smooth on your skin, can be very hard to wash off because it doesn't dry. And it just gives your face a very soft and baby-like skin look. Like after you wash it off, your skin looks like really nice and new, like you like a baby skin that's really, I don't know how to describe this size, describe that it looks like baby skin. If you're not into like mud mask or rinse off mask, um, I would recommend sheet mask. And the one I love is Misha, their Super Aqua Cell Renewal Snail Gel. The reason why I like this one a lot more is because it's gel texture. But a lot of sheet masks are like paper towel filling or paper filling. Not even paper. It's nice. It's way nicer than paper. But a sheet mask is, as I said, it's a sheet, like a paper sheet or towel sheet. But of course, softer. I don't know how to explain it that well. But the reason why I like gel texture is because it's more slimy and easier to move around your face. This mask is split in two. So you could do the top layer first and then you do the bottom layer. But most sheet masks comes in one and it's always way too big for my face. The reason why um, you can use a sheet mask every day is because it is packed with essence. And essence is like the heart of skincare. You can consider essence the heart of a Korean skincare routine. A bit dual purpose, essence is kind of a toner and serum hybrid made for hydrating and aiding skin repair and cell turn and cell turnover. You apply it directly to freshly toned skin with your hands and pat it in. What I use as an essence, I guess you can quote it as, is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I just think that this is a great facial spray for um, toning and hydrating the skin. I love the Beauty Elixir. It's probably like one of the best products that I've incorporated in my skin. It gives me the baby soft feel to my skin, the smoothness, the look, and the hydration. In the morning, I use three serums, and they are from Glossier. Or glossier. Um, I use the Super Pear, Super Glow, and Super Bounce. I love the Super Pear because it attacks acne and it's for acne prone skin. This is something that I really recommend. If you're really, really looking for something that will fight the acne, this serum is great because it concentrates on all of that. This is to help brighten your skin and make you not look so tired. And this is also a great um, serum for your skin to. Um, if it's feeling like rough or it looks rough in the morning, this is also a great way to make it look, um, to ease your skin to look more relaxed. And then at night, the serum I use is the Triple Lightning Liquid by Cosrx and Charlotte Cho. The reason why I like to use that serum specifically at night is because it targets my acne scarring, helps brighten my skin. It is recommended to only be used at night with 
serums, I do like to pat it in my skin because I don't like tugging my skin. If you pat your skin, you are helping the blood circulation move around and the patting motion causes your skin to actually absorb the product. So I will put down a link below um, that will tell you the difference between rubbing and patting motion uh, when you're using when you're doing your skincare routine. It's very thorough and explains a lot of reasoning why it is way more effective. And the two moisturizers that I have been using and loving is the um, Jeju Aloe and the Dr. Jart Water Drop. So in the morning, I like to use the Dr. Jart Water Drop because I feel like it's a little bit more hydrating and um, easily used. It's very thin as a as the name, it is like water on your skin, and I like with the Dr. Jart, I lightly um, spread it all over my skin. I always use these two fingers, I don't know why, but I always use it. And then, um, if I have to do, I will also pat this in my skin as well. But most of the time, I lightly just rub it in, or I just leave it on my skin and let my skin just dry it out itself. And I love to use aloe vera at night because um, this is like a thicker moisturizer. Wow, this is upside down. So yeah, this is a thicker moisturizer, so that's why I love using this at night. It also helps like your acne, it helps your acne scarring, and it helps soothe, soothe and hydrate your skin. So that's why I like using aloe vera at night, as I said, for your skin to just hydrate and feel plump with all of that. And because it's natural, as I say, my skin loves natural products, things that are more uh, organic. Ever since I switched into aloe vera moisturizer, I feel like my skin hasn't broken out as much as it used to. There are two sleeping masks that I like to use, and one of them is the Dr. Jart Tiger Grass Nightly Repair Mask, and they come in these packets that you just open and use. Um, I use I don't use up one in one night. I kind of go use them throughout the week because I feel like you don't need a lot. You just need a very thin layer. And then the other mask is the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask by Glow Recipe. I've been dying to try this and now that I have, this is just a mini travel size sample and I feel like it's a lot in here already but the reason why I love this one is because it makes my skin very soft and plump in the morning. A sleeping mask is that you use it and then you just go to sleep and then when you wake up you wash it off and it's great for your skin, it's, it's great for overnight hydration, it's great for radiance and if you want softer skin. The watermelon glow sleeping mask is great for that. It really, really makes my skin soft and smooth. And when I wake up, it's not sticky, by the way. It's not sticky at all. So that's why I like it. I use a very, very thin layer. As for the Dr. Jart, this is a great mask if you, like I said, if you're fighting acne. This smells a lot like Asian medicine. Um, it is not a strong smell and it is stickier. Um, I use a very, very small and thin layer all over my face. Um, also, with these two masks, I don't pat it in. I kind of just spread it all over my face. The Dr. Dot one uh, moisturizes your face and gives your face a very hydrated look in the morning. Your skin doesn't look tired and it really helps minimize your pores and fights the acne because it's literally helping rejuvenate your skin overnight. And some optional steps that I like to take are incorporating the um, Dr. Jart Sikapera Tiger Grass Color Coloring color correcting treatment. These two are from the same family brand, um, but the color correcting treatment is for people who have redness. As mentioned, if you have acne, you have you have some sorts of redness, and this is a great way to um, reduce the redness look. It also tones and um, even out your skin. It also has SPF, so that's great. Um, so what I like to do is after I moisturize, I wait for my moisturizer to settle in, so which is like 10 to 15 minutes, and I will get changed. And then when I'm ready, when I'm done changing, uh, especially in the morning, I only use this in the morning, um, I would put this on 
um, especially on days that I don't want to wear makeup and I'm not planning to wear makeup I like to use it because as I said it evens out my skin tones it just oxidizes to my skin color and it really protects my skin from the sun with the SPF um, and I do see that um, my redness around my acne will be reduced because as I said it oxidizes and acts as a layer of like a BB cream or a CC cream and I also love to wear this before I apply makeup on because I feel like it's a great primer for my skin as well. And as for my night optional steps are um, using drying lotion and the acne pimple patch from Cosrx. So what I like to do optionally is when I'm getting like a zit that I can see growing in or I see small pimples um, that are in already, I use this Mario Badescu drying lotion and this looks like this and you want to make sure that you don't shake it up you just use a q-tip and you dip it inside get a little bit of the pink and then you put it on all the spots on your face that you see as it's growing you see the whiteheads uh, what it will do is it just pull all of that out so far for me i usually just use it when i see like a um pimple forming. So with the Mario Badescu drying lotion, this is great if you feel an acne coming in and you want to minimize it, you want to make it really really small and unnoticeable, then this is a great drying lotion for your acne patch. When it becomes whitehead, I use the Cosrx acne pimple patch. Um, it comes in this bag and then this is what it looks like, these little small patches. Um, they have all different sizes based on your acne and then I will put the patch over the white head so you will see the um, pimple patch literally suck out all the white gunk and if you have a bigger zit it's gonna take a few more like two to three days for you to keep using this um, and even if you pop your pimple I still use this like I just make sure that like I squeeze out all the pus and then I put the acne patch over it to make sure that it kind of cleans out everything. As I mentioned, this is something that's really helped me to not touch my pimple anymore. And it's really simple to use. You just take off the patch overnight. When you wake up, you just take it off. Once you take out the pimple patch, it's um, your, it's not spreading any bacteria as long as you do your normal skin routine and you don't touch your face. With that being said, if you're just starting off your skincare routine, just make sure you have a cleanser, make sure you have a toner, and make sure you have a moisturizer. And then everything else will slowly come in bit by bit. All of this wasn't created in a day for me. I didn't start off my skincare routine with all these products. I actually slowly, as I aged each year, I added something into my skincare routine based on my skin and what I'm um, struggling at that time and moment so as I said you just start off small and then you will slowly learn to incorporate and add all these things into your skincare routine and honestly some people probably don't even need half of these stuff they probably just need the three simple steps so yeah this is my skincare routine and things that has been working out for me so I hope you guys enjoyed my skincare routine and I hope this was helpful and in depth for you guys to kind of understand why I use certain things and help you if you are questioning or struggling through acne as well. Please don't forget to subscribe down below and I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching.